Well, on Saturday evening, the Montana Lady Grizz kicked off the Brawl of the Wild weekend by snapping a seven-game losing streak to the Montana State Bobcats. But on Sunday afternoon, it was the men's turn to take the court. The Bobcat men came into this game as the number one seed in the Big Sky Conference standings, and they were looking to sweep the Grizzlies in the regular season for the first time since 2010. Meanwhile, the Grizz were looking to get back on track and snap a current two-game losing streak. This one started off with fireworks, and here's Josh Bannon getting open and finishing the two-handed slam to make it 9-8 Grizz early. Later in the half, Kyle Owens finds Lonel Martin Jr. for the three-pointer, and he's fouled. He misses the free throw, but it's 19-14 Grizzlies. Bobcats need a big play, and they find it as Xavier Bishop hits Raekwon Battle for the thunderous alley-oop. Then, Bobcats still trailing, but the offensive board and put back by the big man Jabril Bello gives more life to MSU, but UM still leads this one 31-22. Owens was big off the bench, and this three-pointer makes it 34-22 Grizzlies as he fires up the crowd. Then, just before the half, it's Bannon again, this time for three at the buzzer. He had 23 points in this game, and Montana leads 44-33 at the break. Second half and the Grizz are firing again. Here's Brandon Whitney getting three of his 17 points here and it's 52-35 Montana. Next, it's Cam Parker from deep and he makes it 55-39 Grizzlies with 14 minutes left to play. But the Bobcats are atop the league standings for a reason and they didn't go anywhere. Here's another dunk from Bello who finished with 21 points in this game. Bishop had 27 points to lead everyone including this wide open triple to pull MSU within 62-54. to Under three minutes to go now and Nick Gazalis gets the up to go and that trims Montana's lead to just 70 to 66 but that's as close as they got as Whitney gets the basket and the foul here UM uses free throws down the stretch to ice it and the Grizzlies take round two between these two rivals with an 80 to 74 victory at Dahlberg Arena we got a tough group we got a lot of guys who were willing to put their body on the line for the team and I think I think that's the kind of thing that wins you these basketball games it comes down to effort and I think I think our effort was super tonight and guys were really bought in on that and that, that's why I think we walked away with the win. I got to give them credit. They came out with an energy and a purpose today uh, that we didn't, you know, for whatever reason. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing the purpose that we came out with. You know, we were on our heels from the jump. You know, they were driving us, they were attacking us, and we were we were like flat-footed, stuck in sand. Uh, you know, that's probably the worst defensively we played. We got to up the ante from a toughness stance. You know, we got to we got to get better. We're always confident, no matter how much we're down. We know we always have a good run in us, and. You know, we cut it down to six, and, you know, the ball, we, it was a couple loose balls that just didn't bounce our way, but that's just basketball. Things happen. You got to move on and play, uh, get ready for the next play. But, yeah, we definitely started being aggressive, you know, too, but it was too late. You know, we already dug ourselves in a deep hole uh, early in the first half, and um, it, when you're trying to play hard and come back, you, you know, you tend to run out of gas, and, you know, but, um, yeah, we definitely dug ourselves in a hole, and it was hard to get out of. This might have been the biggest game of uh, my life, to be honest, too. Uh, since last year, we didn't. Uh, we weren't able to play them, um, but this year we're having the fans and just having that atmosphere is just is crazy. Big win, big win. We we you know I watched our game in Bozeman maybe I don't know four or five times, and and, and it was a hard one to swallow because I thought our game plan was on point. I thought we did a good job of executing the things we wanted to execute. We had some foul trouble, but that's kind of been our mo. Um, but but the biggest thing that was hard to swallow was we just didn't make shots. And we walk away, you know, fairly emotional about that loss. Uh, but at the same time, it gives you confidence at home because we typically shoot better at home. Um, and, and, and so we, we had a lot of confidence going into this one. I think we have a tough group. I, I think we have a group that's about the right things. Um, guys show up early, win, lose, or draw. They show up early, they work. Uh, they allow our staff to coach. They, they want to be a part of success. So I, I think our frame of mind and the way we're built is about winning. Um, and, and, and so I'm always going to be proud of them for their efforts and, and the way that we, we push forward through adversity. Hopefully we see them again on a, on a Saturday and we, we get a chance to do this thing one more time. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.